So what is bleach and how does it work? That's the question I'll be answering in this video and I'm going to talk a little slow. I typically talk kind of fast but I'm going to talk a little slow for this video so you can actually follow and it'll make sense to you. So the word bleach is a generic term that is used for any chemical product that is used to remove color from fibers or materials. Some of the fibers could be fabrics, it could be your hair, some of the materials could be paper, wood, leather, could be your teeth. So you see this shirt right here? You see that spot? This is a green shirt, but bleach got on it, and so now it's got a light spot on it. So the bleach removed the color from this shirt. Here's another example. I got a red shirt here. See that lighter spot right there? It got bleach on it. So it lightened, it removed some of the color from the shirt. So the process of removing color or making it lighter or whiter, that process is called bleaching. Lots of the times people just refer to the products that do these things as bleach. You want a lighter color for your hair? Bleach it. You want to make your white socks even whiter? Add some bleach. Even though those two products, one for your hair, one for your laundry, are vastly different, the generic term is employed, bleach. So the term bleach is just very generic. And bleaching products come in different forms. There are bleaching powders, and the one that we're probably the most familiar with would be liquid bleach, like this. You also have bleach gels, you've got bleach wipes and sprays, you even have bleach pens. So bleach comes in a lot of different forms depending on how you're going to use it. Now what are the chemicals in bleach? What gives bleach its power? Well the chemicals in bleach will vary depending on the type of bleach you're referring to, but for this video I really want to focus just on the good old fashioned household bleach also known as chlorine bleach. The active ingredient is sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is a chemical compound made up of sodium, chlorine, and oxygen. That is the ingredient that gives it its power to remove stains, whiten your whites, disinfect, which is to kill viruses and bacteria. This bottle is 7.5 percent sodium hypochlorite. The rest of the bottle is water and it's got some other stuff, but the primary active ingredient is that sodium hypochlorite. I'm not really going to get into the other stuff because that would go a little bit, it'd become a little bit too technical for what I'm wanting to do for this video. And you might ask, well, what's the difference between generic liquid bleach, right, and Clorox bleach? Well, Clorox is just a name brand. Lots of companies make liquid bleach with the sodium hypochlorite as the main active ingredient. It's just that Clorox is the one that most people are familiar with. Clorox is known for making high quality, consistently performing bleach. Basically, when you go with Clorox bleach, you know it's going to be effective. And it's the most widely available. You're not going to have to go to too many stores before you run across a bottle of Clorox bleach. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope that you found it valuable. If you did find it valuable and you like this kind of information, stay tuned for the next video in this series. We'll probably talk about bleach some more. The name of this series is called Understanding Cleaning Chemicals. And you can find it on my channel under Playlists and it's called Understanding Cleaning Chemicals, or you can just click right here.